morning everybody, it's Zayla and I um, with Yotism and now it's time for yoga with Cole. Hello. Um, so today we're starting sitting down, we've got me and Zayla here sitting down and we're going to learn all about our senses today. We've got quite a few, we've got how we see, we've got our hearing, we've got our touch, we've got our smell, we've got our taste and our mouth, we've got our balance, how well we balance, our strength, how strong we are and where our body is, so these are my arms here, all the way out here, and we've got our feeling, how we feel. So we're going to start off today with our eyes. So here we have our eyes. I can see you. You can see me. That's right. And then, can you see this lovely, colourful, spiky ball here? Can you see it getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? And then getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Wow, let's do that again. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then look at it getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And all those lovely colours. Good. And we'll bring that back again a little bit later. Okay. And here we've got our ears. So let's start off with just pointing to our ears. Right? Where are your ears? There they are. And they're a lovely round shape. And then we can just give our ears a nice little pull up and a pull down, like that. And a pull up and a pull down. Lovely. A bit later we're going to use our ears for some listening. That's right. And now we've got how our touch. So let's give our hands a really good rub and give them a really good touch. And see if there's something that you can touch. So here I've got my mat, I'm going to touch my mat and see what that feels like. Oh, it feels nice. You might have carpets or floor or a nice mat underneath you too and see how it feels. Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it smooth? This mat's got a few little lumps and bumps in it, which I really like feeling. Yeah. And then here, our nose. And you can see I've got a very tiny little flower that I could sniff and get a beautiful smell from. And I also use my nose to make that sound. <sighs> Breathing in through it. And here we have our mouth. And with our mouth, we can taste all of our most favorite yummy foods, but we can also make some really lovely shapes with our mouth. We can make them go like this. Ah, uh, really wide, or ooh, like a O, or a lovely smile there, or tight. And our mouth has got so many shapes and sounds that can come out of it. And later on, we'll see what sounds we can make out of our mouth. Okay, and then here we've got our balancers. So let's stand up. Here we go. Standing up and let's balance with both one foot, two feet, one foot, two feet on the floor. Oh, look how lovely balanced you are with two feet on the floor. Let's just for a moment take one foot off the floor and balance and put it back down. And take the other foot off the floor and balance. Really good and put it back down. That's lovely and balanced. And we can even Make our balance go from side to side, to side, to side, like this. Can we do this? Sway, 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 sway. And now two feet on the floor, nice and wide. And let's bring two arms out to the side and feel how balanced we are there. With the widest we can make our body. And then let's come all the way down to one side, reach up high and using our eyes, look all the way up 
towards the sky. And you've probably got the ceiling there. Take a breath, and then let's come all the way back to the middle. And then over to the other side, using our eyes, look up high. And then back to the middle. And then we're going to see if we can jump in, bring our arms up high, jump out, bring them out to the side, jump in, bring them down, then jump out, out to the side, jump in, bring them up high, to the side, down low, to the side, up high and stretch. And let's draw a line all the way down through the middle, middle, middle of our body. And let's give our hands a really nice shake, shake, shake. Step both feet and shake. And our shoulders. Lovely, good. And then we can reach our arms all the way out to the side. Up high. And again, draw that line through the middle of our body. And down. And swing, swing, swing our arms all the way up high. And then back down by your sides. Good. And then you'll see here, we're going to look at how strong we are. So let's see. Let's do our favourite, most strongest posture. Ready? Here, show me how strong you are. Strong in your arms. Strong in your hands. Strong in your legs. And strong in your breath. <sighs> Lovely. And step back together again. Now let's do that strong Pose with our hands out wide. Here we go, ready, step, and strong. And I know where my hands are, and I know where my arms are, and I know where my legs are, they're bent. And then back together as one. And one more time, we're gonna do our strong pose again. Ready, here we go, stepping out, arms up wide, hands out, and strong. And back together, really lovely. And then I'm going to see if when I swing my arms, I can feel the coolness of the air with my hands. So let's swing them in front first, and then get our knees nice and soft, and let's swing them out to the side. And can you feel how cool the air is moving through your fingers, through your hands? And we swing out to one side and the other side. Feels so nice and cool. And then if we come back to the middle, we can swing them out wide. And then feel the warmth of giving yourself a hug. Oh, and then let's come out all the way out wide again. Feel the air in your hands. And the warmth of giving yourself a lovely hug. And really give yourself a nice squeeze there. And you might feel that your back feels nice and warm. And then hands out to the side. And now let's do a little bit more of that swinging. And let's swing all the way around our legs. One side to the other side. And then I can feel the cool air all around my whole body. Really nice. And then all the way down low. And with my eyes, I'm going to look in between my legs. And then with my mouth, blow. <sighs> nice. And then hands on the outside of my legs. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap. So I know just where my legs are all the way up to my shoulders. And make my shoulders go around one way and the other way. And hands by my side. Now using my eyes, I'm going to look up to the ceiling and down to the floor. To the middle, over to the window and over to the wall. And back to the middle. Lovely. Alright, let's get one leg and now we're going to use our ears and our strength, our balance, and our body all together as one. So here, listen. Tap. Opposite hand. Opposite knee. And stop. And now 
I'll say things as Zenga likes that tappy noise, right? With our hands, let's get them in front and clap. And then let's get them behind. or even your own finger. So here we go, my finger's gonna come around to one side, all the way through the middle, round to the other side, and through the middle, round to one side, through the middle, to the other side, through the middle, up to one side, through the middle, to the other side, through the middle, here's my other finger. Round to one side, through the middle, to the other side, through the middle, outside through the middle, to the other side through the middle and here's both fingers together and if you want to you can follow me all the way around one way and the other way oh lovely wow we get really big with it Wee. Wee. and I can see my arms making a lovely shape of on its side and then back to the middle point at me and then point up high and then arms by your side and let's sit down there we go and when we sit down we're going to make sure we know everywhere our body is so here's our toes so give your toes a nice wiggle saying hello to your toes and here's our feet Giving your feet a nice wave, saying hello to your feet. And round and round. And here's our knees. Waving your knees, saying hello to your knees. And let's bend one knee. And let's bend the other knee. And let's get those knees a really nice hug. And we can really feel how tight we can get ourselves. Let's kiss our knees. What lovely knees. And let's say hello to our legs. And we've got two lovely long legs. And let's rub them down the outside. And let's rub them up the inside. Rub them down the outside and up the inside. Now we can tap them. Listen for the tap. Great listening. And let's lift one leg up high. And back down. And the other leg up high. Look all the way along that leg. And back down. And two legs up high. Whoa. And back down. And then we can cross our legs. And let's see what it feels like to have our legs crossed. And here's our tummy. So we know just where our tummy is. And if you give your tummy a rub, you'll feel it feels a bit warmer. Your hand on your tummy feels nice and warm. And this makes us feel also calm and safe. Lovely. And I could do some lovely, nice using my mouth and my tummy together. We can do some big blows out. Ready? Like that. Wow, let's do that again. That's a brilliant blow. So let's see if we can do a few blows. Ready? So big. In. And then our chest, so we know just where our chest is. Here it is, and let's say hello to our chest. And we can feel that lovely tapping, we can hear it. And now it's a warm too. 
and our back and our back is behind us so we can't always see our back but we can feel it and it's strong so let's put one hand behind our back and the other hand behind our back one foot on the floor and the other foot on the floor and lift our back up high be really strong remember that strong pose that we did in the beginning use your arms to hold you down we're going to count to five ready one two three four five and gently bring your bottom back down to the ground lovely and then we've got our lovely fingers here and these fingers are so helpful they really do do a lot of things and a lot of jobs and a lot of making and creating what lovely fingers we love our fingers so let's give them a rub together like this and let's just see if we can have a nice finger kiss so our thumb's going to kiss our first finger and then our next finger and our next finger and our little finger we can sing a nice little song here so hello fingers hello fingers hello fingers it's nice to say hello lovely and our hands and these hands we can feel the air whooshing through our hands we can feel them really wide open like this and we can feel them closed up tight like this and it's all warm inside and wide open like this and closed up tight like this so it's all warm inside and we can put our hands together like this and give them a rub and that feels warm to you like that sounds <laughs> yeah it wants to sniff my hands or she wants to feel how warm they are so if you rub your hands together like this give them a really good rub right? and then you can place your hands somewhere here can you feel how warm they are or even here warm hands or even here oh lovely warm or maybe your hands are a bit cold and that feels nice on your face lovely good and then we can feel where our arms are we know just where our arms are let's give them a good rub 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 and then let's bring one arm down stretch one arm all the way up high and bring the other arm down stretch the other arm all the way up high and then bring two arms all the way up towards the sky and down through the middle to our heart and this feels so warm and cosy this morning and we have some, lots of feelings in here yeah. and today I feel just right and then we're going to say hello to our shoulders all right and our shoulders can do lots of moving so really get your shoulders moving and wriggling and dancing as much as they possibly can and then we can lift our shoulders up here towards our ears and then let them go down to relax and lift them up high towards our ears and then down to relax lovely all right and then we've got our head and with our head we can nod it yes like that oh we might shake it no like that oh we might say i don't all the way around like that, one way and the other way. Good. Right now, before we say hello to our ears, our eyes, our nose, and our mouth, we're going to stretch our legs out wide. Now we know just how long our legs are. Like that. Get them long and wide. That's it. And then we're going to imagine we've got a lovely big magic porridge pot here in the middle and bring our hands together and stir the big magic porridge pot stirring it one way and then stirring it the other way lovely one way and then we'll bring our arms up high like a big wave and take them down to the sides one way arms up high and all the way over one leg arms up high all the way to the middle arms up high down to the other side arms up high over the other leg arms up high and all the way to the middle and let's count to 
five while we're here. One, two, three, four, five. And then dip it. Tap your hands all the way back to our legs. Okay. And now let's bring one foot in and the other foot in. And now like we do with our hands, we can rub our feet together. And can you feel your feet getting warmer? Oh, that feels nice. My feet are getting warm as I rub them together like that. And then with my thumbs, I can give them a really nice squeeze. And I can feel that squeeze on my feet. Can you feel that? Oh, and that feels lovely to squeeze my feet. And now I hold my feet so they're really nice and warm. And these are just like the fluttering of butterfly wings. You know when you see a butterfly and their wings are just always fluttering like this. So see if you can flutter your knees just like butterfly wings flutter their wings. Oh, that's lovely fluttering. Well done. And here we have a song as well for our butterflies so we can sing Butterfly, flutterfly, all the way up to the sky and back down to the earth. Butterflies go fluttering by. And let's close our wings time for the butterfly to go to sleep. Give yourself a nice hug. And just feel how nice that feels. Ah, oh, lovely. Good. And let's cross our legs one more time. And here we have our ears. That's right. And we can do wonderful listening with our ears, can't we? We can hear everything with our ears. So here I've got my lovely bells. And these bells make are you ready? It's going to go ting. Listen, listen till you can't hear it anymore. Well, that was really great listening. Whoop, there they go again. Great. All right, down here, we have our mouth. Remember we said we can make lots of shapes out of our mouth, and with those shapes, we can make sounds as well. So let's put our hands on our legs like this. And let's start off with this big shape. And with that comes that ah sound. So we take a nice big in through our nose. Open your mouth wide, and we're gonna go that was lovely together. Now our next shape is a lovely ooh sound. Ready? So. So let's all pretend that we can sniff the flowers. Here we go, ready? <sighs> That's really nice. And again, you can see the lovely blue colour. Let's pretend we can sniff the flowers. So we're just pretending. Here we go. 
really nice. And what we can do with our nose as well is we can get our thumb and our finger and we could close our nose, which makes us speak like this. Can anyone say anything like this? And then we can open our nose. And take a nice big in and blow your finger till you can't feel that breath anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Really good. All right, let's close our nose one more time and do that silly voice. Hello, how are you today? And then open it. Blow your finger, blow, 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 so you can't feel that breath anymore. And you might feel that feels warm on your finger. A little bit warmer. That's nice. Good. And then we have our eyes. Lovely. And we do so much looking with our eyes. There are so many lovely colours and things to see. Who can see the colour blue in their room? Have a look around. Can you see a colour blue? Oh, I can see a colour blue there. <laughs> All right. And who can see anything the colour red in the room that you're in now? Can you see a colour red? Oh, I can see a colour red there. And a colour red on the rainbow. And of course, who can see the colour brown in the room? Can anyone see the colour brown? Yeah, there she is, our lovely brown doggy. <laughs> All right, but you know what else we can do with our eyes? We can close them. Let's close our eyes and we'll count to three inside. Ready? One, two, three, and then open them and see those lovely colours again. And let's do that one more time. Ready? Close them. Count to three inside. One, two, three, and then open them. I see those lovely colours again. And now we're going to use our eyes when we do a really nice stretch. So let's come up like this. We get our legs, and we're going to come onto our knees and our hands like this. And we, when we do our cat and cow stretch, we use our eyes. So first of all, we use our eyes to look up to the Ceiling, bring our tummy down low. And then we're going to use our eyes to look in between our legs, back up high and low. And then look up to the ceiling, bring your tummy down low. And look in between your legs, back up high and low. One more time. Look up to the ceiling, bring your tummy down low. And look in between your legs. Back high below. Now we're going to use our strength and our balance. Let's tuck our toes under and bring your hips up high. And you felt your hands and your feet push with your hands and feel how strong you are in our downward dog pose. And look in between your legs again. Wow, that's so good. Let's come up onto our tiptoes really, really high. Bring your knees down low. Feet flat bottom all the way on your heels and see if you can feel how cool the floor is on your head. Can you feel how cool the floor is on your head? Oh, I can feel the mat feels quite soft, actually. You might have, it might be hard on your head or it might be soft. That's a nice place to rest for a moment. And then let's place one hand and the other hand and come all the way up like that. And coming up onto our knees, we're going to see if we can step forward with one leg and be really strong and balanced to reach our arms up high and bring our hands down low. And see the toes on the floor there, stretch that leg all the way up like that. Nice big stretch, how strong that is. And now let's bring that knee back down low. And lean all the way back like that, great. And let's come up high, strong and balanced again. Bring this knee down and the other one. Lovely, and reach up all the way, two hands on the floor, stretch that leg behind, give it a slight bit, stretch, bring that knee back down, lean all the way back, like that, and then coming up once again, strong and balanced, lovely, and then 
can see if we can come to stand up. And I can get here, good. And now I'm going to come over to the wall over here. So if you've got a wall, or maybe with your mummy or your brother or your sister or um, a sofa or a chair, you can use anything, right? We're just going to put our hands here against the wall. I'm going to use all of our strength to push it. So you might have something that you can just push, uh, but if it moves, just give it a gentle push. But if it's a wall, like this, which isn't going to move, you can give it a nice hard push, like that, using all of your strength. That's lovely. And then let's turn this way and have one hand on the wall. And then we're going to get one foot and slide it all the way up the leg and stretch the other arm up high to a lovely balancing tree pose. Let's take a nice big breath here and feel strong and balanced like a tree. Standing strong through all the weathers. <sighs> Lovely. Let's bring our hand down and then two feet on the floor. And then let's see if we can swap over. So you're just going to see behind me. So I'm swapping over my legs. That's it. And sliding one foot up out to the side, reach the other elbow all the way up high and stand really strong and balanced like a tree through all the weathers. No matter if the wind blows, it stands strong. Lovely, and then far down, two feet on the ground. Nice, I'm gonna come back over here and then I'm going to imagine that my feet are like the rockers of a rocking chair. And they rock forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards with my arms. Rock it all the way up and back down. And back down. Use our breath to climb all the way up and then all the way down. And then the last red arch of our rainbow makes our whole rainbow big and complete. Look how colourful that is. So let's use our breath, a nice big one this time. So breathe to the top of the rainbow and then. All the way down to the bottom of the rainbow. Lovely rainbow colours there. Good. And now, remember we said we can 
Let's see this again and again. This is a bit like our breath. So when we breathe in, it gets bigger, 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 bigger. And then when we blow out, it's smaller, just like our lungs. So let's breathe in. They get bigger and rounder, more colourful. And let's blow out, it's smaller and prettier. Lovely, very good. All right. And now let's have a nice little lie down on our back like this. Okay, see if you can bring the knees up into your chest like this. Let's move that out the way. Good. And give your knees a nice little rock from side to side. Rock, 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 rock. And then rocking forwards and backwards. Rock, rock, rock. Crook. and then see if you can bring your feet and point them up to the ceiling and then with your hands either here or here see if you can bring your hands there and then we're going to do a little rock here as well Whee. that feels quite nice lovely oh and just see if you can be really strong so your feet a pushing strong into your hands or pushing strong here. Oh, and that feels really nice. And I'm going to bring my feet down to the ground, feet on the floor. And remember when we tippy tappy our feet, now I've got Zaina underneath me now. She thinks she's going to get a cuddle. <laughs> okay, so see if you can tippy tappy your feet. Hear that? And tippy tappy your hands. That's it. So hands and feet are on the floor. I'm going to lift our hips up high to make our bridge pose. That's it. And stay there. One, two, three. And then gently bring your bottom back down to the ground. Now I wonder if I could lift my bridge up so high that it's even over Zayna. So here we go. I'm going to put my feet here. You can do it again with me. Ready? And tippy tappy feet, tippy tappy hands, and I'm going to lift up high, so high that even Zayna can fit underneath me. Well done, oh yeah, you could do that too. Alright, let's do a big breath in, blow it out, gently bring your bottom back down to the ground, really nice. And let's see if you can bring your knees down to one side, and then back to the middle. And knees down to the other side and back to the middle. And now we're going to feel how the floor feels underneath us. So feel how the floor feels underneath you. Now it might feel soft and warm if you have carpet, or cool and hard if you're on wooden floor, or a little bit funky if you're on a mat. So how does it feel underneath you? And first of all, let's feel our heels. See how your heels feel hard on the floor. And then feeling your heels on the floor. Feel them relax whilst on the floor. And now what about the backs of your legs? Feel the backs of your legs on the floor. The backs of your legs feeling hard on the floor. And then the backs of your legs are relaxing as they lie on the floor. And then feeling your bottom. Your bottom on the floor. Your bottom feels how hard the floor is. And then your bottom is relaxing on the floor. And then your back, you can feel your back on the floor. And you can feel how comfortable your back is on the floor. And then your back is relaxing as it lies on the floor. And then you can feel your hands on the floor. Either this way or that way. And you can feel how comfortable your hands feel lying on the floor. And your hands are relaxed, lying on the floor. 
And you can feel your arms on the floor. And your arms are really comfortable on the floor. And your arms feel relaxed whilst lying on the floor. And you can feel your shoulders on the floor. And how comfortable your shoulders feel on the floor. And your shoulders are relaxed whilst lying on the floor. And you can feel your head on the floor. The back of your head feels so comfortable on the floor. And your head is relaxed whilst lying on the floor. And you can feel your whole body so comfortable on the floor. The floor supports your whole body as you relax whilst lying on the floor. And whilst you rely for just a moment longer, let me get my special singing bowl. You can use your ears to just listen whilst lying on the floor. Now it's time to wake our whole body up and wake our mind up again and give our fingers a little wiggle and our toes and stretch our arms up to come to sit up and we can put our hands over our heart like this and we can say I am joy. I am peace. I am light. I am love. And hands together here. And then yoga is finished. Really lovely. We're really enjoyed going through all of our senses with you today. And it's Friday, we'll do some really lovely yoga together. Okay, bye bye for now, have a good day.